seen. This works hand in hand with the Inflation Reduction Act to really boost American innovation, competitiveness, and security. So we've clearly given the Department of Energy a lot of work to do. Congress has spoken clearly over the last two years. Between the Energy Act, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill, and the Inflation Reduction Act. It looks like economists have released a big warning to Americans. The recession is pushing more people, including families and retirees, into poverty. And now Kevin McCarthy has announced that he doesn't even support the new bill that Democrats have proposed because President Biden may take executive action this time. A group of conservatives in the House are pushing for a vote on a bill that would eliminate the Fed, income taxes, and the IRS. But some influential Republicans are pushing back against what appears to be a failure for the GOP. The bill known as the Fair Tax Act would actually scrap all individual and corporate income taxes while imposing a 30% national sales tax on goods and services to be collected at the state level. And it would uh, eliminate the need for the IRS, everybody, so this could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you see it. But I personally believe it would be a good thing because in the deal with uh, Kevin McCarthy for his House leadership, the conservatives reportedly want a commitment to bring a tax bill to the floor for a vote. However, the bill has virtually no chance of becoming law. And meanwhile, provided Joe Biden Democrats with new ammunition in their effort to paint Republicans as extremists. Chuck Schumer said that the Republican tax plan will raise the cost of buying a house to $125,000. Also, it would raise the cost of buying a car by $10,000. It would raise the average grocery bill by $3,500. And at a time when people are already worried about the high price of groceries, it looks like things are going bad. Schumer failed to note that the bill would also eliminate income and other taxes. But his remarks highlight the difficulty Republicans face if they push ahead with the bill. Analysis of similar tax plans show that a national sales tax would be aggressive, raising taxes on the poor, reducing taxes on the rich, and other things like that. But several Republican leaders have already come out against the bill. Even McCarthy said that he earlier doesn't even oppose it. It would allow that it would come up for consideration. It makes the committee process more difficult. House Majority Leader Steve Scalas has also said he doesn't support the bill, preferring instead to make the tax cuts included in a tax law of 2017 permanent. And one representative, a relatively moderate Republican from Nebraska, told reporters that he is also opposed to the bill. More than a dozen states are continuing to send out checks to millions of people, hoping to provide some extra relief in cash to consumers, as inflation drives up prices on everyday items. Many states are able to send these checks because of excess revenue. Many of the payments are officially called, called tax rebate checks. Last fall, California began issuing the middle class tax refund, one time payments designed to ease the bite of inflation. And as of January, more than 16 million direct deposits and debit cards were issued. But as many as a million people eligible residents have yet to receive the check, which can be as much as a thousand bucks. And now, California taxpayers filed individually and make less than uh, 250 grand are eligible. As were the couples who filed jointly make 500,000 or less. Because according to the Franchise Tax Board, that works out to be about 25 million people. The IRA is also ushering a pair of tax benefits for Americans, also new filing this season. The expiration of a homeowner deduction, potential double taxation for some remote workers, and the deadline for federal returns is here. One intended change that would have likely led to confusion was dumped late last year before it took effect. Taxpayers should avoid feeling overwhelmed by the changes by focusing on only those that affect their returns and have the rest of the tax pros. The last two years included temporary changes to the tax code as a response to the crisis and economic havoc in 2022 tax year. Dollars ...that despite their profound love for our country and their respect for American workers and their understanding of the needs of the U.S. military and the health care industry, despite all of that, in order to make more profits, they are prepared to go to Europe and Asia. Now, Mr. President, I am thankfully not a lawyer, but that sure sounds like extortion to me. What Mr. Gelsinger is saying is that if you don't give the industry a blank check, here's 76 billion, and they want more, by the way, despite the needs of the military for advanced microchips, and we hear that from the military, despite the needs of the medical industry 
for advanced microchips. Despite the entire needs of the American economy for advanced microchips, the industry is threatening to abandon this country and move abroad. Patriotic people, no doubt. Clearly lovers of America. Mr. Gelsinger says we should stay in session, if necessary, through August in order to pass this legislation. Well, I think we might want to stay in session through August, but not necessarily to pass his legislation. Because what I hear from the people in Vermont and people all across this country is that the job they want done is not a massive handout to large profitable corporations. The job they want Congress to do is for a change to protect the American working class, our middle class, and the needs of the most vulnerable people in this country. What I hear is that the American- About a thousand dollars. It is very simple to figure out how much money you're gonna get by using the state's payment calculator. Some 800,000 stimulus checks are being mailed today to qualifying California residents. Maybe you're one of them. The Golden State Two stimulus payments started going out last week. The state says some $563 million in relief checks will be mailed by December 17th. The checks total anywhere from $600 to $1,100. Another 3,000 payments will be direct deposits. This money comes so big news for Social Security and SI and SSDI as well as VA beneficiaries and 50 states across the country. Everybody, every state in the country can receive stimulus checks very soon. Two factors decide this and it goes for retirees who rely on Social Security benefits for income. So the size of Medicare Part B premiums and taxes on benefits may offset just how much bigger these monthly checks will be in 2023. The good news is that the standard monthly premium for Medicare Part B, which covers outpatient and medical coverage is set to go down by 3% next year to $164 from the current rate of 170 bucks. Because those premiums are typically deducted directly from benefit checks, a lower rate will bump it possible for more beneficiaries to see the bump from the COLA or cost of living adjustment. However, the higher COLA could prompt some beneficiaries to get bumped into a higher tax bracket. Economists say that the record high COLA is great for retirees as they grapple with higher food prices on everything from rent to food to gas. One economist told CNBC that while they're excited to see the increase coming, they're not really envisioning what the impact can be from a tax standpoint. Social Security benefits are also taxed on a formula known as combined or provisional income. It's calculated by taking your